Welcome to the Friday wrap up. I'm Ali McKenzie. Well, the trip to Sydney went unrewarded with Melbourne going down to GWS by 32 points. But Paul Roos says it's the team that will be changed up, not the game plan. So, the, you know, we won't change the game plan, but you change the personnel. And I think that's what good teams do. I think that's what Clarko did. That's what Bomber Thompson did. I spoke to him last week after the show. You know, that's what he did with, with Geelong. You've you got to cop some wax. But providing, I think the biggest thing we've got to do as a group is be clear on we're not going to change the game plan. The game was put into perspective this week when the AFL community rallied behind Mitch Clark, who announced his retirement to focus on his battle with clinical depression. Josh Marnie spoke to the media on behalf of the club. It's a brave decision by Mitch. Um, you know, he's been through a horrendous run of injuries uh, over the, the time that he's been at Melbourne Footy Club. It's a decision that we support 100% as a footy club. As we've said all along, the number one focus during this period has been Mitch's health. And at the moment, that is the best thing for his health going forward. Mitch took to Twitter to thank everyone for their support and assured fans that his heart will always beat true. Mitch will be missed by supporters and players alike. Um, he loves, obviously loves the game and loves being around the teammates, his teammates and just, uh, he's, yeah, he was, he was one of those boys that the, the players loved. He uh, kind of made um, the team walk taller, but unfortunately um, he couldn't keep going on, which, um, yeah, I think, I think for Mitch to take that stand, it's, it's a real positive step. Looking ahead to Saturday's clash against Carlton at the MCG, there's a sigh of relief from all supporters to have big man Chris Dawes back alongside Geordie McKenzie. Earlier this week, Nathan Jones spoke to the media about being excited to play Saturday afternoon footy. We're looking forward to playing at the G on Saturday afternoon. It's going to be um, it's a great opportunity for us to get out there again. Another challenge. Um, look, it's it's uh, it's obvious we haven't started the year as we'd want to, but look, we're facing another another team, another challenge at the ground we love playing at. And, um, it's not not too often that we've played on a Saturday afternoon either, so the boys are pretty excited about it and we're taking a pretty positive approach and, and looking forward to it. Don't forget that this Saturday is a reciprocal home game, which means you can use your membership to gain access. So let's get behind the boys and get to the G at 1.45pm Saturday afternoon. That's the Friday wrap-up. Thanks for watching.